This is the Sunday Jazz Brunch Podcast, edition number 32 for March 18, 2018. I am Steve Bauer, the Jazz Man, and welcome into our show. On the show today, it is jam-packed. We're going to check out tracks from a couple of new CDs. The Lao Tizer Band is in with songs from the Swing House. And Paula Atherton is a saxophonist. Her new CD is Shake It. We'll get into that one as well. I'll have some smooth jazz news for you in this week. Here's just some of the stories that we're following. Nick Coleone makes Billboard chart history with five hits from his latest album hitting number one. Jessie J will release her first ever live album coming up next month. And some lost recordings of Buddy Rich have been found and are now being released, all to celebrate his centennial. We'll talk about that and more in the Smooth Jazz News update. I will have a feedback track. We will hear this week's number one song, and there's a rock to jazz connection. Plus, a listener from Down Under (laughs) will be giving us his response to the question I posed a couple, three weeks ago. How do you defend smooth and contemporary jazz? And we'll share that with you here in just a little bit. To get in touch... The email address is Steve the Jazzman One at gmail.com. Steve the Jazzman One at gmail.com. Whether you've got feedback for the show, if you are an artist with a new CD, you'd like me to talk to you and play your music. If you'd like to become a sponsor of the Sunday Jazz Brunch podcast, it would really help us out a lot. Or if you're with a radio station and you'd like to have the weekly three hour Sunday Jazz Brunch radio program for your station, well, send me an email message. We'll make it all happen. Steve, the jazzman1 at gmail.com. And when you shop on Amazon for absolutely anything, not just music, but anything at all, if you use our portal, our new portal, then you help to support the show and you don't pay anything extra at all because a little, very little tiny bit of what you spend will ultimately come back to support our show. And we really do appreciate that. All you got to do is click shop4jazz.com. It's shop, then the number four, jazz.com. Everything will look the same. You won't even notice any difference at all. So click that and use it often. So now let's find out what's happening in the world of smooth jazz news this week. This is a smooth jazz news break with Steve Bauer. With the release of his CD in 2016 titled The Journey, guitarist Nick Coleone has made Billboard chart history. He has scored five number one songs on the Billboard smooth jazz chart, all from this album. It is monumental for the smooth jazz chart and probably has never happened before. Frank Sinatra scored over 60 number one songs during his career, but never had five songs from any single album hit number one. The following tracks from Nick Coleone hit number one, including the title track, The Journey, Say What's On Your Mind, Morning Call, Uncle Nick, and finally, Buckle Up. Jeff Lunt from the Trippin' and Rhythm Records label, where Nick is signed, says that he has maybe seen three tracks from an album hit number one, but never five, which is nothing short of remarkable. Nick Coleone has that something special that draws people in, and much is due to his great wit and sense of humor. Nick Coleone. Things are looking up, so I'm real grateful that things are better than they were when I first started being a solo artist and, you know, getting a little recognition here and there. So it's all been good. Word is now that a new follow-up album is planned for a mid-April release. With the release of her new album, Live at Yoshi's 10-Year Anniversary Special, saxophonist Jessie J celebrates a remarkable decade since she brought her sizzling beats, dynamic Latin and samba rhythms, and sensual melodies to contemporary jazz via her number one debut album, Tequila Moon. Following in the tradition of other jazz greats, including Dee Dee Bridgewater, Pat Martinez, Joe Pass, and Arturo Sandoval, who have released albums that were recorded at the historic Oakland venue, the charismatic saxophonist captures the excitement and spontaneity of her live performances with a set list featuring her classic hits and several songs fresh to her repertoire. 
She says that she felt like a live album would be the perfect way to mark the 10th anniversary of Tequila Moon because she loves performing live and it presents a completely different experience from her studio albums. The CD was recorded live at Yoshi's Jazz Club in Oakland, California back on January 28th and it should be released on April 6th. Lightyear Entertainment has released The Lost Tapes, a live album featuring Buddy Rich and his big band on CD and vinyl LP. The Lost Tapes is the soundtrack to a concert film originally recorded at the King Street Studios in San Francisco, just two years before Rich's untimely death. It was the last concert that Buddy Rich ever recorded for video release. And the title of the album refers to the fact that these recordings were lost for a decade, presumed damaged in a fire. The soundtrack has been remastered for both CD and vinyl LP. The release is part of the Buddy Rich Centennial Celebration. The drummer was born on September 30, 1917. Keyboardist David Garfield was 19 when he got his start, playing alongside influential bebop jazz trumpeter Freddie Hubbard. But the opportunities came quickly for him in contemporary jazz as well as in R&B and pop, which guided the direction of his now five-decade career away from his roots. Straight Ahead Jazz has remained in his core, and he's longed to return home, thus to launch his prolific multi-volume, multi-genre, outside-the-box collection. Garfield will release his first Straight Ahead Jazz album this Friday. In addition to playing piano, Fender Rhodes, and synthesizers, Garfield produced and arranged the 15-track jazz set, which revisits the music of Duke Ellington, Horace Silver, Joe Sample, Rogers and Hammerstein, Oliver Nelson, and Joe Zawinul. And the music streaming service Spotify is hoping to attract a new crowd of fans on Wall Street to help fend off a growing competitive threat posed by Apple Music. Spotify will expand its financial arsenal with an initial public offering of stock, aiming to raise $1 billion. Spotify's music streaming service boasts some 71 million subscribers, nearly twice as many as Apple's rival service, but Spotify still isn't profitable. They lost $1.5 billion last year. Their IPO, hopefully, will be out sometime next month. I'm Steve Bauer, and that's your update of Smooth Jazz News Happenings this week here on our show. Well, we've got three birthdays to celebrate. One, and we're going to do it up in a big way. But first is saxophonist Kim Waters. He's turning 53. He started playing the violin when he was eight, but switched to the saxophone at 13. Kim was born in Maryland. It's All of Me from Kim Waters. And also on the 18th, Dana Owens turns 48. Well, we know her as Queen Latifah. Born in Newark, New Jersey, she got the name of Queen Latifah from a cousin when she was about eight years old. I love being here with you from Queen Latifah. What you mean you want to know how I feel about you, baby? Be poetic about it, all right. I love the East, I love the West, and North and South, they're both the best. But I'll only go there as a guest, cause I love being here with you. Well, we got another big birthday to celebrate on Thursday, the 22nd. George Benson turns 75. Born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, started singing at the age of eight in local area nightclubs. And on his tribute album to Nat King Cole, he gave us an example of what he sounded like when he was just getting started. Do you smile to dance to love her, Mona Lisa? 
Oh, is this your way to I a broken heart? Many dreams have been brought to you to a step. They just lie there and they die there. Yes, George Benson now as we do a triple play from him to celebrate birthday 75, This Masquerade. Are we really happy here with this lonely game we play? Looking for words to say. Searching but not finding understanding anywhere We lost in a mass masquerade One of his other big hits, and as George does many different styles of music, this is an instrumental. This is Affirmation. His tribute CD to Nat King Cole. This is Walking My Baby Back Home from George Benson as we celebrate birthday number 75 for him. Gee, it's great after being out late, walking my baby back home. Arm in arm over meadow and farm, walking my baby back home. We go along harmonizing a song. Oh, I'm reciting a poem Hours go by and they give me the eye Walking my baby back home This week, one of the new albums we're featuring is from the Lau Tizer Group. It is called Songs from the Swing House. We're going to do four songs from this new album for you to check out. First is To Touch the Sky, new from the Lau Tizer Band. It is the Lau Tizer Band, and that is The Source, and it's from the new album, Songs from the Swing House. Lau Tizer talks about the music business and how it's keeping him busy as it continues to change. We've been up to a lot. It's been, uh, you know, as it always is in this uh, business of music, quite a journey and uh, and keeps getting better and a lot of cool stuff. I mean, since then, we've toured a great deal, of course, across the States and done a lot of international stuff as well. We started doing a lot of the big international festivals a few years ago, so that's been really fun. So, you know, we've been to Africa and Asia and South America and Europe and, uh, and then, of course, all across the States and, uh, you know, just continuing to have fun and play as much as possible and and uh, meet new fans and you know share what we do and enjoy the ride 
And if you want to find Lao Tizer on the internet, I guess I should say the most simple place to find us would, of course, be the website, which is myname.com, and that is spelled L A O Tizer. So that's T as in Tom, I Z as in Zebra, E R.com. I know it's a very unique name, so I've learned over the years to spell it out. <laughs> okay. um, and, it is my, and it is my real name, by the way. But of course, we're on Facebook and YouTube and, and all that kind of stuff as well. And I, there is a Twitter account, supposedly. I just don't tweet very often, but maybe I'll start. This is a prayer for unity from the Lao Tizer Band. We are listening to the new CD from the Lao Tizer Band, Songs from the Swing House. This is one titled Metropolis. have music from the Lao Tizer band the new CD songs from the swing house a little bit of jazz fusion going on whenever you get ready to shop for anything at Amazon especially music if you use our new Amazon portal then you help to support our show and you're not going to pay anything extra it all looks the same just click shopforjazz.com it's shop then the number four jazz.com that's all you've got to do again shop for jazz.com when you shop on Amazon for absolutely anything. The other new CD we're featuring this week is from saxophonist Paula Atherton. It is titled Shake It. From Paula Atherton, this is the title track to her new CD. It's Shake It. single from the album from Paula Atherton is my song for you. Atherton, the new CD titled Shake It. This track is called You Got It. Paula Atherton, again, her new CD is Shake It. This is called Into the Night, and it kind of has that Mindy Bear flavor, that sound to it. At least it sounds that way to me. What do you think? Atherton, again from her new CD, Shake It. That was Into the Night, and it it still to me does sound like a song that 
Mindy A. Bear would have done before she went her in her new direction. I don't know. Kind of makes me sad that she went that way and guess is not looking back. But maybe one of these days she'll realize that she needs to come back and get back into jazz and play us some great music again. What do you think about that? I, that's my feeling anyway. I, I don't like her new stuff with the Bone Shakers. It's not smooth and contemporary jazz. It's blues rock stuff. And even though she goes back and plays some of the songs that were big hits for her in the jazz world, it's not what I want to hear. So I'll we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Thanks for spending part of your week with me. There's always controversy about cover songs. When someone does a cover or their own version of a song that was a big hit in the past, and some people think that cover songs are bad, some really like them. Peter White's latest CD is all cover tracks. The CD is grooving. It's got some cool music on it. My personal feeling about cover songs is they're fine. Now, I don't want to play a lot of cover songs. Just a few every now and then are okay, because you don't want the whole thing to be cover songs. But it's always interesting to see what songs people pick out when they want to do a cover song. Horn and Holland do a version of the Marvin Gaye song, What's Going On? What came out in 72, something like that. And Anna Maria is the vocalist on this track. Well, what do you think about this? Is it a good cover or not? cover songs well give me your feelings on those whether you like cover songs or not a few weeks ago i asked for people to send in their comments about how they defend smooth and contemporary jazz to those people that are so immediately against this great music well we have another great submission and i want to share it with you now hi Stephen listeners Stefan here from sunny queensland Down Under in Australia. Why do I like smooth jazz? I love it. My music tastes range from Baroque classical music through um, traditional Christian church and contemporary Christian praise and worship music through Motown and R&B, which is where I started consciously listening to music and now embrace contemporary jazz smooth jazz so why do i like it what attracts me i suppose analyzing it it's rhythm and melody with two countervailing tunes in one song the beautiful voices that are mellow in most smooth jazz music not all but most of it 90 percent i would calculate and overwhelmingly the positive lyrics to the songs when lyrics exist again the majority of them advocating lasting committed respectful relationships again there are exceptions but most of them doing that and it's almost like emotional chiropractic or acupuncture to my spirit when i hear them Uh, it lifts me up during sometimes a cloudy day and makes me happy that's my summary of it steve Do other genres fit the bill? Yeah, some country music does. But uh, most other genres, certainly punk and heavy metal, and uh, a lot of what I hear on my local radio turns me right off. But to be positive, smooth jazz just hits the spot like a nice, smooth, sweet wine. Thank you. Now, if you would like to submit how you would respond to those people who hate jazz and how you would defend this great music that we love, 
it's easy. Just record a little MP3 file, and you can send that to me via email, stevethejazzman1 at gmail.com. Now, if you don't have a way to do an MP3 and you'd rather call and leave a voicemail message, here's a special phone number that you can use, 316-530-7869. Again, it's 316 316- Five three zero seven eight six nine. At the number one spot on the smooth jazz charts, the fifth track from his CD, The Journey, this is Nick Coleone with Buckle Up. time for this week's feedback track listen and let us know if you like it or not our feedback track this week is from flutist reagan whiteside it's called Corey's bop Her name is Reagan Whiteside. The track is titled Corey's Bop. What do you think of that? You like it? Yes or no? Let me know by email, Steve the Jazzman1 at gmail.com. Steve the Jazzman1 at gmail.com is the address. This is the Rock to Jazz Connection, where we remember a song that was a big hit and then play a jazz version of that same song. This week we are going back to 1977. The song in the connection is Part Time Lover. We remember with Stevie Wonder. Let's connect the song Part-Time Lover to Jazz. To do so, we call on the Amsterdam Connection. Here it is for you now. I am Steve Bauer, the Jazz Man, and that's our show. To get in touch, the email address is Steve the Jazz Man One at gmail.com. Steve the Jazz Man One at gmail.com. Whether you've got feedback for the show, if you are an artist with a new CD, you'd like me to talk to you and play your music. If you'd like to become a sponsor of the Sunday Jazz Brunch podcast, it would really help us out a lot. Or if you're with a radio station and you'd like to have the weekly three-hour Sunday Jazz Brunch radio program for your station, well, send me an email message. We'll make it all happen. Steve, the Jazzman1 at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time for another Sunday Jazz Brunch podcast. Mm -hmm.